All right, Bolo Buddies, it is time for a reseller vlog. I'm going to show you what I'm shipping out today. Three, two, one. Hey, um, this is from Saturday and Sunday morning sales. Not a whole lot going out. Who's in the summer slowdown slump? Let me know down in the comments. I know the reason I am is because I'm not listing much, but I did get 21 new items. I think it was 21 new items up on eBay yesterday, so I'm super excited about that. I have my whatnot show tonight at 10.15 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, and I'm giving away some stuff. I've got three giveaways coming your way, and let me tell you about that. All right, Bolo Buddies, there's gonna be three giveaways tonight on my whatnot show. This is one of the giveaways. You've got this awesome bracelet and a pair of earrings and this vintage necklace. Super beautiful. Not a set, but looks really, really great together, which is kind of the theme of the show tonight. All right, here is another one of the giveaways. You're gonna get this awesome beaded necklace and these earrings and this cute little moon brooch. And here is another one of the giveaways. It's gonna be this awesome necklace, vintage necklace. Here's your clasp. This cute little cat, I think it's a cat. Is that a cat? Pin. And these earrings, which I think fit perfectly with this necklace. I could be wrong, but I think this looks super cute together. So that's going to be another one of the giveaways tonight. Don't forget, if you're not on Whatnot yet, you can use my referral link down below and it will give you $15 to shop. So if you see one of my bundles that you like, you can use it towards that. So before I show you the first item that sold, I do want to tell you that I have an order pending. It's for a plush that sold for $131. The buyer has zero feedback, so I'm not sure if I'm going to get paid for that or not. So far, no luck. Um, it has had a lot of interest over on Mercari, so if the buyer does not pay, I will just cross-post that back to Mercari and Poshmark with List Perfectly. If you're not using List Perfectly, definitely check it out. Plush does great on Mercari. Um, List Perfectly video looks like this. You can get 30% off your first month with coupon referral code BOLOBUDDIES. Let's kind of talk about zero feedback buyers. Honestly, for the most part, most of my zero feedback buyers pay. I know some people block zero feedback buyers. They won't sell to them. I do most of them pay. This may be a situation where I get non-payment and it happens sometimes, but I'm willing to take that risk because think about it. You were once a brand new buyer. So to me, I feel like everybody should have the opportunity to buy from me. Let me know down in the comments, do you block zero feedback buyers? All right, Bolo Buddies, the first item I'm going to show you is from the hashtag Ben's Bingo Challenge. It was a while ago, so this is a long tail item, but it's a pretty cool item. And, you know, I it's not something I normally sell, so hey, you learn something new every day. The Ben's Bingo Challenge was a bingo card that challenged everyone to pick up items in different categories. I believe this was my betting item, so let's check it out. So it is over in Tote 23. So if you want to see that Ben's Bingo video, you can check it out. There were a whole bunch of YouTubers that participated in that challenge. And um, if you put hashtag Ben's Bingo into the YouTube search bar, that is going to pull up all of the videos of everyone that participated. And I will link my video down below. Okay, so it is a Sierra Designs travel pillow. And I think this is used for like camping and stuff like that, but super cool little piece. I did end up taking a best offer of $20 plus shipping. This is very lightweight. So probably cost me about a buck, maybe a buck and a half at the Goodwill bins, which is by weight. I have tons of videos of me digging through the bins, looking for treasures to sell on different platforms like eBay, Poshmark, and Mercari. So definitely check those out. I don't know if I said this or not, but the buyer did pay shipping. It's just a really cool pillow on the inside and looks like you can hook something here, but really, really soft and nice quality. I would definitely want to lay my head on this. One question I get a lot is how do I ship my plush? And while this is not a stuffed animal or a plush, um, it is a plush item. It is a pillow and I put them in a poly mailer 
a bubble poly mailer. So that's what I do. I have some that are eBay branded and some that are not. This one's a little bit bigger than the eBay branded and this pillow fits perfectly in it. So that is how I'm shipping this item. As I've told you guys before, when I ship plush, if they have plastic eyes that can get scratched up, I do put additional bubble wrap around the eyes before I put it into the poly mailer. So I don't know if it's necessary. It's just something I do for a little added protection. All right, story time. So this is kind of funny. Uh, it's not really funny, but it's kind of funny. So I had an item that somebody decided they wanted to return. It wasn't the right size. It's this little Carter's blanket. And it's kind of a lovey, but it doesn't have the plush attached to it. And they returned the item. I got a notification that the item had been delivered to my P.O. box. So I went ahead and refunded their item. And when you do that, it says, do you want to relist this item? And I thought, sure. You know what? I'm just going to trust that it came back to me in the condition I sent it. Probably no one's going to buy this before I go and pick it up. And I listed it. I hit relist. Well, wouldn't you know it, that thing resold super fast and I had to make a special trip to the post office to pick it up so that I could ship it out in my one day handling. I mean, what are the odds? So this is what it looks like. I resold it for $9.30 plus shipping. So definitely be on the lookout for these little loveys. People look for them as replacements. Uh, a lot of times these get lost and they're discontinued and people look for them on eBay or other social media platforms. This next item is a bread and butter bolo, but thankful for every sale. So I'm gonna show it to you. All right, so I know it's in this bag. This is one of my jewelry bags and I know it's in one of these little, I, I'm pretty sure it's in this one. I think this is where all my Disney pens are. So I don't have a whole lot left, but I'm looking for this one right here. And this sold for a best offer of $5.25 and the buyer paid shipping. So these other ones are available in my eBay store. There's some really super cute ones. If you guys collect Disney pens, you can check those out. Um, but yeah, Disney pens, they range. I bought a whole bunch. These here have been more long tail, but uh, some of them sell really quick and some of them can be a bolo. So definitely look up Disney pens if you see them. This one was definitely a bread and butter. Recently got asked, how do I ship jewelry, small toys? I think it was small toys was the direct question, but I also ship my jewelry like this too. If I have one small item, small plastic toys, this works great. Also, this is called a pillow box. These are pretty sturdy. There are different uh, brands. This one happens to be really great. Um, I'm going to stick that right in there like that. And then it is going to fold in. I did fold it the wrong way. Um, it's supposed to actually have that part on top, but I'm doing this with one hand. So that's how it's going to be. And then this will go into a poly mailer. That's plenty of protection with the bubble wrap for this Disney pin and small toys. So these are a great item to definitely check out. Next item. I can't even believe I'm showing it to you guys. It has been the longest tail item ever. Don't pick it up. Don't pick it up. Oh my goodness. What a bad buy. Now, did I make money? Probably. I think if I remember correctly, this came from a garage sale or an estate sale and I didn't pay much for it. I, it may have been thrown in. I have no idea. I can't even believe I listed it. I, I just don't even know what's happening right now. The anticipation. Do you guys want to see what it is? Oh my goodness. It's awful. Okay, we're going over to tote 12. I sold this. Whoop, I stepped on some bubble wrap. I sold this for, uh, I think it was $5.25 and it's been listed. I know at least since 2019. Ah! Literally guys, when I tell you that I list it and forget it, I'm not joking. I'm not kidding. Oh no, it's in a bag. It's in a bag. You know what? I am even going to open this up so I can show you my miserable. <laughs> okay, a sale is a sale. I'm happy for every sale. No, I really am happy about this one. I'm so happy to see this thing go. Now, the buyer did pay shipping. And the shipping, this is a heavy item. So the shipping was a lot. And I crossed out 12 rolls and put 10. I mean, oh my goodness. It's uh, paper rolls for, I think, a calculator. I can't remember. I looked it up. I'll pop up a screenshot and let me tell you what the buyer was all in for. And I can't wait to get this out of my house. Woohoo! I may just call this video happy for every sale. Okay, so 
I lied. It was $5 and 57 cents. And the buyer was all in for 1737 with tax and shipping. So because the packaging is ripped, I am going to take my American bubble boy bubble wrap. You guys, if you need to stock up, I have a link down below. If you use my link, even if you already have a bubble boy account, I do get credit. It's just a little credit, but it really, really helps out. And I appreciate when you guys use my links down below. So if you need to stock up on bubble wrap, definitely check out that link. And guess what? They are also selling tape now. Tape! Woohoo! American Bubble Boy. Links down below. They did the shipping update. I did switch my items to Ground Advantage, which means I can no longer use the priority mailbox for this. So I am going to have to find a box or be creative here in shipping this. Uh, there are two options now on my listings. The first one is USPS Ground Advantage, and the second option is Priority Mail. And I was able to bulk edit all of my listings at one time. Actually, I think I had to do, uh, was it 2,000 at a time? I think it was 2,000 at a time. But depending on how many listings you can do, you can definitely bulk edit. So that is fantastic. Shout out to my mama who dropped me off her Amazon box. Uh, so friends and family, great way to get boxes to reuse. Um, I will slap a little recycled box label on this. I'll show you that here in a second. Hey, you guys, so when you have an eBay store, you get a eBay store credit to buy shipping supplies. This is one of the things that they sell along with these. Some of them say eBay, thank you for supporting my small business. Those are the ones I usually get. But anytime I have a box that um, is like Amazon or from another company, I do like to put an eBay label on it and a repurpose for the planet reused packaging slip just so they know that the package is actually coming from eBay. And these are sold by eBay. So you can use your uh, your credits for those if you're interested in something like that. All right, so let's take a look at this just for reference. Uh, USPS Ground Advantage with my shipping discount from being on eBay is $9.35. I wanted to go down and check Priority Mail just to see what it would have been. It would have been $11.65 to ship this item. So in this situation, ground advantage for a four pound item is cheaper than priority mail. So keep that in mind if you guys are still using priority mail. You do now get that insurance on the ground advantage. So you may think about adding that to your items that are heavier also, not just your old first class items. But remember, you are going to have to find your own box. Okay, the next item going out is this vintage Fitz and Floyd Old Christmas Fragrance Light Ring Set from 1992. It is new old stock. I got this at a garage sale for a buck. And this is sitting in tote 15. I use the custom SKU. It's on every eBay listing. You can fill that in. Only you can see it. The buyer cannot see it. This is how I know where to look for my item. This is on the order details page when I go to... Um, do my shipment. So it's right there. So that's where I'm headed. And let's go over here and I'll show you what this, uh, maybe, oh, here it is. It sold for $18.60. The buyer was all in for $25.69 with tax and shipping. All right. So we're heading over here to tote 15 and let's see if we can find it. This is always the fun part, right? The shipping, the finding the orders, looking for them. What is your favorite part of reselling? I mean, I know what mine is. It's sourcing, of course. Um, I do enjoy being on Whatnot now because uh, that is live and I get to hang out with all of you guys. So that is really, really fun. But uh, yeah, definitely uh, sourcing is my favorite. Okay, here we go. This is what it looks like. It's some sort of fragrance light ring. No clue. You see Fitz and Floyd items, definitely look them up. Some of them can be a big money bolo. Got that all sealed up with bubble wrap, nice and tight, with some extra bubble in the front. I'll put this down in this box. You can see it's got some extra space. Uh, this is a little big for this particular item, so I am going to put some air bubbles in here. They're just recycled from something I bought. I always hang on to these. My mother-in-law saves them for me also. So I'm going to put that down in there like that. And then we're going to put this one on top. And that's also going to help to protect the item. Now, 
I may have to take one of these out or I may, actually it's gonna close just perfectly. So that is gonna work out great. So just another tip, fill in that void so your item isn't flopping around in the box. Especially if it's something like this has a breakable in it. The next item sold on Mercari and it was a long tail item. It is over in tote six. So a lot of times people buy things like this for props like movie props and stuff like that. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. This is tote six, right? Oh no. Well, that's not good. Somehow it got moved to tote five. I knew it was in this area. So what did I sell? I sold these vintage CVS ultra soft stretch diapers. How fun is that? And they have, I believe, Kermit the Frog maybe on them. I'm not 100% sure, but I do see Kermit the Frog. So that's another reason that somebody may have bought this, but I can't see what it looks like. But is that even Kermit the Frog? It's a frog. I don't know. But anyway, I sold these for $75 free shipping on Mercari. So I do free shipping on Mercari. Now, you do have the option to use Mercari's uh, shipping labels. I ship everything USPS. And the shipping labels for USPS, unfortunately, are from Mercari, I think are high. So... I think seeing free shipping on a heavier item like this is definitely going to create more interest in my item. Now, what I use is Pirate Ship, and I'm going to take you over and show you how I do it. Over here on Pirate Ship, and I'm going to hit Ship, and I am going to create a shipping label, and I am going to paste address. So I'm going to copy and paste the address there. I'm going to go down here, and I'm going to put in my measurements and my dimensions and all of that good stuff, and I am going to hit Get Rates. And then I'm going to pick how I want to ship the item. So I've decided to use the priority mailbox for this. And I'm going to show you why. I did have the option to use other services. But let me show you why I picked priority mail. So I'm over here. I've got my dimensions in and everything. And you can see Ground Advantage is the cheapest. And it does include the $100 insurance. This is on Pirate Ship. It's $7.10. But for $0.07 cents more... I can ship it priority mail and it's going to get there a little faster and I get to use a free priority mailbox. So I'm going to pick priority mail for this one. I just talked about filling the void on this one. I'm not going to worry about it. This is, you know, I've got this secured and bubble wrapped. If it bounces around a little bit in this box, not a big deal, but uh, that's, you know, a different situation. This box is too big but it's pretty close, so it's gonna work. All right, so because these items are vintage and collectible, I was able to get $75 for them. That was a best offer. And here is the breakdown of the Mercari fees. It was, um, I am paying the shipping, so there's no shipping fee. The selling fee was $7.50. Processing fee was $2.68. So I get $64.82 and I have to take out my shipping, which was what, $7 and I don't know, like 15 cents, something like that. So that comes out of my profits. And then also my cost of goods. I've had these for a very long time. I don't remember what I paid for them. I think I picked them up at an estate sale or maybe a garage sale. I can't even remember. But anyway, so definitely a good profit on these. Be on the lookout for vintage diapers. Some of the name brand diapers like Huggies and Pampers and those items, those go for crazy money. I'm talking hundreds of dollars. So definitely look for those. If you guys are not selling on Mercari, definitely check it out. I love this platform. It's so easy to use, easy to cross post my items over there and make some extra sales that I may not make on eBay or Poshmark. So check out the link down below. If you use my link to join Mercari, you're going to get $10 to shop. And then once you sell $100 worth of stuff, you're going to get another $20 to shop. So you can buy something to resell. And then I also get a credit because that is my referral link. So that gives me a little money to shop on Mercari also. So I appreciate it when you guys use those links. Right, not a whole lot going out, but there are some shipping tips. There were a lot of good items to ship to show you guys different ways that I ship. 
and lots of variety there. So let me know if those shipping tips were helpful, if you like it when I include shipping tips in these types of videos. Again, my whatnot show is tonight at 10, 15 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Today is the 16th, Sunday the 16th, and I am doing bundles. And if you wanna see what those bundles look like, you can go over to the whatnot show, click on the house, and you can look at them, or you can check out this video I did that shows a preview of all of the bundles. I think they're absolutely beautiful. They're, uh, would cohesive be the word? They look good together. You can wear two or three pieces together. Most items have 10 to 15 pieces in them, so it's a great buy. All of those are starting at $5 tonight. And don't forget about the three little bundles I'm giving away. So hope to see you tonight. Go bookmark it right now. I will link it down in the description if you're not already on Whatnot. You can get $15 to shop with my referral link. That is down below also. So I hope to see you guys tonight. I'm hoping for a great show. This is the first time I've done it. I'm a little bit nervous, but super excited. So, all right, Bolo buddies. I hope to see you tonight at my Whatnot show. Maybe you're gonna win one of these giveaways. That would be awesome. Thank you to all of my viewers who watch my channel and to all of you that have come over to Whatnot. I appreciate all of you so much. So thank you so much for being here. Thank you for watching and I'll see you soon. Thanks for watching. Now, if I sell plush, I've told you guys this before, I cover the eyes if they have plastic eyes with extra bubble wrap, extra bubble wrap, just so the eyes don't get, uh,